Rooney, you're an asshole. Nine times. We're going to drink the vodka now with tequila. Because it'll kill ya. Because it will kill ya. And we are going to throw up later. He's going to drink the beers. It is beer googles, everyone. Oh, yes. The good idea. Oh, jeez. Oh, the beer googles. Hola. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the beer googles. Hello. Double E. Double O. Double J. J. With an S. All of them. And less is more. Obviously. I know. <laughs> Sir. Jess. Welcome. welcome. Salud. And Jinx. <laughs> you owe me a Coke Zero. <coughs> hey, well, look at that. There's a Coke Zero right here. Oh, that's a terrible sound. Ah. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Double E, double O, double G. Welcome. So um, this one came to, you know, we've got, we're starting to get some audience response. No, I just keep asking Mary stuff. She's our producer. Bro. bro. Yes. Don't give away our trade seat. We're supposed to act like we're getting bigger. <laughs> don't tell people we have a producer? No, don't tell people that only one person gives us all their ideas. Oh, shit. And that, they're, that the collective people who are listening are not, they totally are. Oh, they totally are. So sorry. Oh, man, we just, fuck. Sorry. Well, he's, well, thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Um, so, Mary, our executive producer... <laughs> Has another idea. Which one did she give us last time? The burger, fries, and a soda. All right. I love that one, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And once again, correction, just in case people only listen to Beer Googles and not Knocked Conscious. Yes. Because there's an episode in between the two yeah. Beer Googles. Is, Googles, 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 Googles. Uh, but uh, I got it wrong on the religious uh, belief. The chick fil The chick fil on Sundays are closed, not because they're Southern Methodist, not to be confused with SMU by any means. Negative. But they are Southern Baptist. Go Mustangs. So I apologize. It's Southern Baptist who close on Sundays and are homophobic. Sure. No, well, not all Southern Baptists. Like Clo- some. Look, the really slutty ones are always open for business. <laughs> so they're not closed on Sundays. Do you Sundays. know? Can I get those numbers? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Can you? What would you please deliver them to me? I would love to deliver them. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But you know, anyway, and they're not all homophobic. I'm sure there's a Southern Baptist like I like Dick, and I'm a man, and I'm okay with that. Hopefully, that guy is not homophobic. Well, I would hope he's not. (laughs) But we have some people like be gay but don't act gay. That's one of my favorites. I should have talked about that in the last. He did. We went two and a half hours. Yeah, the Mormon, the movie, the Mormon. Oh yeah, a little bit on on the HBO, right? Yeah. Let's, oh yeah. Okay, let's get off this. No, we're totally getting off this. We are talking about something different because our executive producer Mary's in yes. this. How the fuck did we get off? I don't even. Oh, Chick Fil A. I just had a correction. <laughs> Chick Fil A is Southern Baptist, not Southern Methodist. Sundays they're closed and and generally homophobic as a company, I think. But their fucking nuggets are delicious, and they waffle are your favorite fries. waffle fries. So. Um, I guess we're going to keep going. <laughs> no cancel culture here. That's, uh, actually, honestly, that's hard for me to go there now. It is. It actually is. I don't. I don't actually frequent it. I don't go, but once every it is good. Few I'm not. Months. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's good. It's tasty. But it's hard for me to give money to an organization that endorses homophobia. Any any phobia any fear any whatever because they do good things they are charitable organization as are many corporations and companies but in this specific case it just doesn't it doesn't resonate right it's doesn't it's not fair to everyone i don't know whatever can we can we have the freedom of being who we are man fuck yeah bro freedom to be bitches freedom freedom i won't bring it down so executive producer Mary, yes, uh, who came up with the food, uh, the fast food items, yes. has come up with another brilliant, brilliant. Wasn't that the old Guinness? Brilliant. Yes, it was. Uh, is ingenious. Mary, thank you so much for this uh, submission. Yes. But not a chokehold. It's not like a full Nelson. No. It's just submitting. What do we got, man? What's, what's our, our thing? She about? said... If you could be any character in any movie, who and what would you be? 
And I asked a bunch of people and I got a bunch of survey results. And of course we have our shitty answers as well. So I think I know one of them that you're going to choose. You do? I think it's fucking hilarious. You do? I think so. What? Tell me. It's RTT. What's that mean? The the newest catchphrase we started using on the last but on the last podcast. If oh you could no! Be any character, no, it's not going to be Ricky oh Schroeder. No, no, Ricky that's that would have oh, been awesome, RST. dude. I know that's what I'm saying. RST, right? No, it's RST. Ricky Schroeder's thumb. No. Oh shit! Do we talk? Do we talk about it now? Yeah. Let's sure. Talk about it now. Fuck. Do you? Want, or do we want to go through actual what we're going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> So there's a there's a mini series called the Andromeda Strain. It's a Michael Crichton book that was really well done, well written allegedly. And they well, you did, did a, the book on tape, right? So did you like it? I don't fucking. Live. I didn't do anything, man, bro. Come on. So well, you and I decided to watch. We it watched that together because they were they were pushing. They were like promoing the was hell that, out of it. Um, it was on, on Sci-Fi A&E. Channel? No, it was like A and E or Bravo or something. It was some weird. It was like a, it was different. It was like. And it was Andromeda Strain. And in that is Lou Diamond Phillips. Is it Lou Diamond Phillips or the no, other guy? No, it's the other guy who was in... Um, <sighs> Jimmy Smith's. No, he looks just like him, but younger. Shit. Okay, well, it's another guy. He and was Ricky in uh, Miss Congeniality. That oh, that guy, guy, Ben. Ben. Yes, he was in like... Broder. Long, Broder the, one married, the one that married... The one married Horse Teeth. Horse Face from Julia Roberts. Ben Browder, Ben Brower. He married ben, Julia Roberts? Wasn't Ben Brower and her married? I don't know. Dude, I don't Tall, good looking dude. Yeah, dark Rick skin. Ar- okay. I don't know. His fucking anyway, name. in this <laughs> in this way, Ricky Schroeder's thumb could only a- could was the oh was the key to accessing the portal to get out, I think, of this facility. Correct. Uh, Max will say facility. And he cuts his thumb off and throws it up to this guy okay. to get out. They're in like Spoiler an elevator alert. shaft. <laughs> yeah, they're in the silo. They're like in a fucking missile At silo. At the very end, spoiler alert, Ricky Schroeder's character cuts his thumb off and goes, hey, Frank, and throws <laughs> it at whatever the fuck his character <laughs> name was. Hey, Jonathan, and throws it up the elevator shaft. <laughs> and Mark and I are like, oh, my God. And, in and the s- motherfucker caught it. Wait, just but yeah. in slow motion, you see the thumb go end <laughs> over end. And we're like, oh, my God, we're never getting these two hours back. <laughs> then Jonathan or Frank or whoever the fuck this Ben guy is catches the thumb and puts it on the fucking pad. And he enters the room and saves the day. And Ricky Schroeder and Ricky Schroeder's sh- thumb dies so don't ever watch that fucking movie please do not however the problem is i always thought it was a metal band and it's not it's that's acacia strain not andromeda strain some kind of strain and i got them confused but regardless they are both strains they're strange i'm sure i'm sure i'm straining just listening to this conversation (laughs) (laughs) so going forward i'm sure there will be references to ricky schroeder's thumb so we have decreed that any, during any awkward moments of silence while we're both somehow not able to talk. Or I'm looking which, up something on my iPad like yeah. I did in the last podcast. Or or I somehow stop talking, which stop it. is impossible. Yeah. Someone shoots me the freeze ray, for example. Freeze ray? Freeze ray. Freeze ray. Freeze ray. Freeze ray. Freeze frame. She's a beauty. She's one in a million, girl. Two different that's songs. The two. That was pretty know, good, bro. That's a two. It's a good man. transition. The other one's Jay Giles. I and know that's this. Free frame, not freeze ray. I know this also. I okay. just clear. But um, yeah, in case we stop talking, there's gonna be points of silence. We may thank Ricky Schroeder's thumb for its in for its input, which is this. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. <laughs> That's pretty much how it's gonna go. I don't know why I find that so fu- funny. Like I, fu- I when w- we came up with this like two days ago, I've been peeing my pants l- since nonstop since. Uh, it doesn't even smell like it's pee. It's just no. So well, you're, I hydrate, bro. Your Water. depends are working overtime, bro. <laughs> Hydration. <laughs> so Mary, any character, person, place, or thing, I got whatever. Well, I guess a character. Can't, so, I guess it could be the thing. A lot of ways we could go with this, right? Yeah. So it's characters of movies. Yes. Let's give one of Mary's examples, because when you told me the first example, I thought that was a phenomenal What was the answer. example I gave? I think it was Sandy. She, yes, she wanted to be Sandy from Grease. Grease uh, Lightning. Sandra D, right? Yeah. I think that's a great, 
like if you look about her character, yeah, she's from Australia, yeah, or whatever. She meets Danny. What's Zuko? his name? No, I don't know. Is that Danny Zuko? Or I don't is, know. She meets. She meets John Travolta. Straight John Travolta at this time. Yes, young John Travolta. Young with straight the hair. John Travolta. And they fall madly in love, and they have they hot songs. summer nights. That's yeah. a great character, and she See? they ride away in the sunset. Yeah, uh, you know they go they together do like shamalamalam and amadimida bangading, and all that shit. <laughs> that's a great character. So that that was a probably like one of the that's probably going to win overall best characters. All. Not even close. No, not even close. Sorry, but Sandy. it's pretty. But cool. Mary, that's a great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Very. <laughs> So, so I think we were going to start with everyone else first, and then talk yeah, about ours because right. yeah. you know we want to keep you in suspense. Hello, Twitter world. We don't want to keep you in suspense. Yeah. You ready? Yes. I will start with the three Georgia boys. We got Georgia boy. So, uh, however, uh, Georgia boy number one did have a clarifying question. Yes. Do I have to experience the same things the character does in the movie? Yes. Or can I be in an alternate no. universe where I just nope. get to be that character with a different set of experiences? Nope. And I'm like, same experiences. Yeah. Eh. Dude, don't give me this. Can hey. I just be the thing? Or can I be Iron Man but not get killed in Infinity War or Endgame? <laughs> like, no. You you have the experiences I, of the character. I know. I set the, I simmer down. I set I'm the... So, f- fuck. Check mark. I set, I set the record straight, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what does Ricky Schroeder's thumb have to say about this? So. That was not his thumb. Georgia boy number one. <laughs> Roy McAvoy from Tin Cup. Was he mad when you told him no? No, he didn't care at all. Okay. Roy McAvoy is a great character. I think that's a fantastic choice. We'll probably throw an applause in here, but I'll I'll do it manual. Man- I'll do it Manuel, Manuel, Manuel applause. Manuel applause. That is a great choice. Does everyone know who Roy McAvoy is? We Tim talked Cup. about him on yeah one of the other yeah uh, best heroes. I think yes. wasn't he a hero? Yeah. So tell, tell me more about Roy McAvoy. Well, yeah, because he shot a ten on the last hole trying to get over the water with his three wood. Yeah, in the U.S. Open. Give me another ball against the guy from Miami Vice. Give me another ball. Great, great choice. Yes. I love that. He's funny. He gets Renee Russo in the end. Yeah. And he probably gets her in the end, too. Whoa, hey, now. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in the front. Whoa. Run out in the back. She's kind of OCD that What way. are we talking about now? <laughs> Did you ever see... <laughs> this is where you go on a fucking immediate tangent. Have you ever seen, like, an old Sarah Silverman? She used to have a skit show. Not the United States of Sarah or anything like that, or whatever the heck she has now. Sarah Silverman explains it all. There was one back in the day when HIV was a big thing and she was going, she was bored at home. So she, she saw a commercial to go get an HIV test. So she goes to the clinic to get an HIV test cause she's bored. So then they start asking her the questionnaire and she's like, have you ever had unprotected sex in Haiti? Or I'm sorry. Have you ever had unprotected sex in the eighties? And she's like, you know, she's filling it out and they're reading the read back the things like, have you ever had unprotected sex in the eighties? You answered yes. She goes, Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were asking if I've ever had unprotected sex in Haiti. <laughs> and then she's like, she's like, uh, have you ever had unprotected sex? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, ain't with anal sex uh, during anal sex. And she writes, is there any other kind? <laughs> and then, and then and it's like, how many times have you had unprotected sex? And it's like she writes down a number and she goes, Yeah, I'm kind of OCD that way. And they're the same fucking number. And it's just like everything tells you that she's gonna have the HIV when she gets that test. It's just I don't know. Sarah Silverman's funny to me. What, what does that have to do with Roy McAvoy? Tin Cup? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've had too many Coke Zeros. And dude, you're all hopped up on fucking limeade. Coke Zero. What did? I, what were we talking about? I don't know, dude. That's why I'm. <laughs> that's why I asked the fucking oh, question. Getting Renee Russo in the front and the back, and then I, and that went to Sarah Silverman. How many times have you had unprotected sex? And she goes, "That's front and that's back." I'm kind of OCD that way. That was the joke. It's bad. I suck. Next. Okay. 
Next after Roy McAvoy was Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China. Kurt Russell's character. Yeah. I would not have chosen that Kurt Russell character. Well, you can have four Jack Russells if you, you want. You have three, yeah. Jack, can you have a Jack, Jack Russell, Russell Terrier? Jack Russell Terrier. James, fuck. <laughs> Man, we got to stop ta- hanging out. Every Sunday. Every Sunday, bro. Third was Quint from Jaws. Which one was that? Was that that's, the bigger boat guy? Or that's the, the guy, guy with the beard and the hat. Mm. He's the guy that ended up shooting. No, that was Scheider, the shot. Correct. Didn't Quint die? Yes, he's the first one to die on the boat. That's why this motherfucker asked. He wants to be Quint, but live. Correct. <laughs> that's what Popeye is. Why not choose Popeye as a character? Because that's dumb. Okay, I agree. But Ron Williams was doing you know a pretty what, dude? decent job. Nobody chose Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> or olive oil. Oh God, no! That fucking toothpick. You know what would be a really good choice is uh, the killer. Uranus. Not that's oh. a planet. So oh, damn it! The the character from The Shining. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. That would be awesome. Yeah. Nobody picked that. I would also, but he he also doesn't exactly make it in the end. I don't remember what happened. He free doesn't he get frozen in the? I don't recall. Snow just. Nobody picked Jason. Nobody picked Freddy Krueger. Nobody picked Michael Myers. Because then you have to go through the trauma that made you. Like, I don't think I'd want to get diddled by people to make me a monster or something, or whatever. Yeah, but you don't see any of that. You just. But you know that's what ha- You know that's what happened to get them to be that way. They didn't just naturally decide to be psych- psychopathic, psychopathic. Psychopathic. <sighs> what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. There's something. Int- there's something fascinating about being a scary monster. It would I, be. I've never thought Those about it until right now. Though. What about a monster? What about Godzilla? Has that, I sh- did think about Godzilla. Godzilla. Because, yeah, I thought about... Mika Godzilla. Oh, I... I want to be Mufra. I, um, I thought about King Kong. I thought about Godzilla. That's too. I did not choose any of those, but I thought about those, yeah. Monsters. Cool. So we got our three from this guy. Yeah. But he just wanted Quinn to be alive. Yeah. Sorry, bro. He was... Uh, He's Jaws bait or Jaws. Jaws do you want to? Do you want to hear the rest of his questions? Yes, I want to hear. This everything. is actually really funny. We can't make this eight hours unless we hear. Dude, because this guy's really cool. I really. Yeah, like I'm, I'm sure he's cool. I'm, so I'm not. I'm just messing with him. It's really funny. Like, if I choose Quint from Jaws, do I still get bit bitten in half and eaten, <laughs> or can I catch the shark and live out the rest of my Dave's days drunk? On apricot brandy with wives four, five, and six. <laughs> <laughs> and all the piano wire you could ever fucking want. I, I was like, that sounds like a valid question. It is a valid question, but the answer is simply no. I mean, it's the question is 100%. He can write that in a fucking 800-page thesis. The answer <laughs> no. is still a two two-word answer <laughs> and does not need a paper. No. <laughs> The whole point of the character is that they live the character. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's why Tony Stark would be a really tough one, because he does die. He dies, in, and not a good death. He floats away? No, doesn't he, like, He's... go back in time and comes back and he dies? Yeah, and he, a little, 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 and he floats away. Like, he turns into yeah. dust. Or what? No, I think he just died. Remember he came no, out? No, he floats away. Yeah, like... which, I'm not going to argue over how Tony Stark dies, okay. but he dies. Yes. So he picked Captain America because he doesn't die in that. He just gets really, 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 really old. Yeah. In that. But he gets to live with uh, the marvelous Ms. Maisel. No, what's her name? The Agent Smith. The blonde girl. The brunette, isn't she? The, the, the chick from across the hallway? No, no. Captain America with yeah. the woman from the war. The brunette. Oh, she does. Oh, yeah. Remember Agent, the one he what's fell her name? From the, yeah, Agent the Smith, English girl. Agent Carter. 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 Smith. Johnson. Smith. Fuck nut. Whatever. Ch- Carter. Tchaikovsky. Chick Chikovsky, well, all that Chikmarsky. shit, all that Chikmarsky, Chikmark's sister, Mrs. America, Check. Georgia guy number two, yes sir, Brian O'Connor in Fast and Furious, O'Connor, <laughs> that was my uh, Diesel, that was I my know, name. O'Connor, that was good, it's okay. Do you want to hear my uh, uh, Michelle Rodriguez version? Yeah, O'Connor. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not even. Oh, she's like a dude face. I know it's not even like. Oh God. Oh God, that was awful. Uh, that's a good one too. I mean, see, other than being like, I had you, man. I nearly had you. <laughs> Paul Walker, come on, really? Like, do you want to do? Do you really want to be Paul Walker the rest of your life? Just during the movie, dude. Yeah. I mean, you've had like eight of them, but he he goes away. No, and... but you got it's one movie, not oh, eight. It's, it's one movie. Well, technically, you're living out the rest after that. So no, I... one movie. Oh, that you threw that. I that changes everything. No, I think that's what it said. I thought I thought it was any character oh of a movie. God, like you're killing me. But I'm saying there's there's some characters that have sequels. Why would I choose? What are you telling me? I would choose Han Solo from Empire, but not Han Solo from the one where he gets killed. If you could be Spoiler a character alert. in any movie. Right, in any movie. Uh, okay. It's, I mean, that's, I guess those it's a little, are the Mary's rules, bro. It seems a little... It seems a little... A I, little I see bit. what you're saying. I mean, part of my... Cho- part of you choosing one of my things is because you had a pretty good run. You didn't choose which one. I thought you picked the character. You didn't tell me which movie. Just saying. Anyway, I, I digress. Rick, your shoulder's thumb. Thank you, Rick, your shoulder's thumb. Number two, Jason Bourne in Bourne Identity. That's a good one. I, I consider Jason. Yes. That's a good one because, you know, spies, smart, athletic fit, gets Julia Stiles. I don't know. Is that whatever. the first one? Bourne Identity? Oh, they're all, yeah. They're all. Well, the, the last one had Renner, right? Renner replaced him. I think he had three of them. There was three, but Renner was like a. He's the fourth. See, that's the legacy, right? Yeah, the last one. Yeah. yeah. And it's not him. He doesn't play born. No, I but don't, he's I don't like think, a right? born. He's, a, he's born to, he's 008. Yeah. <laughs> Basically is what that, that was one that popped in my mind as well. But uh, Third, one. Herman Boone from Who Remember the, f- the Titans. Who the fuck is that? I assume that's the coach from Remember the Titans. I don't know. You Denzel to, or the white guy? I assume it's Denzel. I don't know. I have never seen it. I've not, I, Do you want to look that up? On, I'll look it up while we talk about it sure. some more. But, all right. Now, let's go to the third Georgian. Well, Henry Boone, you said? Herman. Herman. Okay, Boone. let's find out here. Keep going, man. You're no, because you need to pay attention to the next one because you're going to lose your fucking mind. Okay. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Herman. Bo- oh, okay. It is Denzel the Washington. Coach. Character. Okay. I assume so that. thank you. Yeah. I wasn't sure because remember the other guy took over kind of like Dennis Hopper took over for Dennis Hopper. in Hoosiers. Remember how he took over yes. at the end? Yes. But it was like just as much Hackman as it, it could have been Hackman or Hopper. Yes. Right. Cause Hopper really ended up winning when he was drinking. Remember he had to get on the wagon again, oh, off the nice. bottle, off the bottle on the wagon, whatever it takes. <laughs> Whichever it took. Okay, I'm. You have one hundred eighty-two percent. Mr. Mom would be a great character. <laughs> I would be a fucking one ten, one twenty, two twenty, whatever. and shit, <laughs> burning the whoopee. the fucking, the jaws fucking vacuum cleaner. Two twenty, two twenty-one, whatever it takes. Dead and that Detroit Tigers hat, dude. I love that oh, shit. Oh fuck, dude, that's a great. Terry movie. Gar, the I'm ugliest wife that. in the world. I'm gonna watch. No, yeah, she's not. A, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thumb halfway up <laughs> i got was, nothing it's 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 one it's, limp thumb it's about gravity's taking over on that thumb very quickly oh, that's rough it's coming back down okay good, georgia number three good choices by the way yeah good. i georgia yep. number three yeah your favorite person not that fucking movie don't shawshank that fucker. no 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 your favorite <sighs> actor ever Richard Dreyfus Ben Gates in National Treasure the we're Nicolas like, Cage we're more like treasure protectors <laughs> we're more like treasure protectors <laughs> fucking dick did the Reese ever tell you that story no <laughs> the Reese w- never told you I that story I can't wait to hear it <laughs> Is that an applause? What, what press are we doing? The, press the story time button. Oh, story time. Uh. <laughs> We're more like treasure protectors. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, you have every uh, campaign pen except for the one from Washington. Or uh, whatever. Nicholas Cage free eggs. Did I tell you about our restaurant theme? I, no. I shouldn't tell you about our th- restaurant theme. 
Because someone will do it and it'll become make, okay. Then make a ton of money. That's the end of story time. Well, shit, I love giving ideas away. No, we're not even in the story time yet. We're pre story time. You hit the button. I know, but well, Megzi and I were eating brunch at Nico's. Delicious, and we were having their poutine. Poutine is French fries, gravy, meat, and cheese. Cheese curds. Yeah, yeah. Cheese curds. It's probably the most perfect food. It's the perfect food. No, it's it? disgusting. Okay, it, it's delicious. Super to me. nachos is the most perfect food. So uh, that's a pretty good one. So magazine and I were looking at each other, and you know how stupid the fuck I am. I go, we should create a restaurant that has famous names, but with the food involved. Like, I'd like the Vladimir Poutine, <laughs> and Nicholas made it onto the list, and we were gonna have Nicholas Cage free eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. I mean, we're, these are just some of the ideas. We had so many, and we actually wrote them down. And maybe we'll make that a beer Googles because there's a whole list. And I don't, I think you should shit on all of them. They are awful, awful ideas. But they're really funny the first time you hear them. I just don't think they'd be a restaurant concept. What would you call it? That's the question. Actors? I think, uh, no, because it's just uh, icons. C- celebrities? That's what I call it, icons. Icons. That's a great idea. Icons, avatars, avatar, avatar icons, because avatar is a big word out there now. But like, I'd like the vil. Hello, my name is Czech Park. I like Vladimir Putin, please, on my plate. <laughs> and, Whoa, I, I like the Nicholas Cage free eggs, and I'd like to protect them. <laughs> you know, that's that's just two of them. No, that don't, 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 no. Yes. Now I'm shaking my head. Yes. So, okay, so Georgia 3. That's it? His second pick. Oh, I don't know. Fucking Nicholas K. National Treasure, no, first of all. No, why you press the story time oh. button? Oh, so the Risa. Duh, so such a fucking idiot. I gotta stop drinking, bro. The Risa. I'm having a conversation with the Risa. You and I know who the Risa is. And the Risa tells me a story of when she worked at, like, QVC. And QVC, she worked like call center, like, you know, worked like the third shift, like the 11 to 7, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. And she always answered the phones like she worked. In She's a call cubicle. center. Yeah, rep. call center that's that answered questions and took the QVC orders. Yeah. They were promoting these jewels. You know, how they have those gems like buy these rubies. The and these shitty rent. ass. The shitty ass fucking rocks. stones. The rock. Thank you. The rock. They're garbage. The Risa gets a call from none other than Nicholas Cage. Nicholas motherfucking Cage. Turns out Nicholas Cage is a fucking insomniac and a shopaholic. What do we find out? The motherfucker's bankrupt because he bought every fucking thing in front of his face. So that's a true. That's got to be a true story. It's rooted in truth, man. Is he? She told me this eons ago. Has he recovered financially? No, I think he sold like I remember him selling like his Louisiana estate for like ten cents on the dollar. It was. Awful, and he sold the one up in Sedona, the one near the church. You know the the Frank Lloyd Wright church. Yeah, I know the, the church. Top yeah. of the hill. Yeah, there, he owned one right at the ba- basically at the base of that of that hill that ride that goes up there. Wow, he sold that allegedly. Yeah, so he had some serious financial trouble, but he was an insomniac and he's buying the je- the stones for his fish tank, and he spent a lot of money allegedly. So that's what my a story. Dipshit. Well, you know, when you're a Coppola. Coppola Cabana. Coppola Cabana. The hottest spot north of Nogales. <laughs> Ay! Numero dos. Two. On the last Georgia guy. Uh, Georgia three. Georgia three, number two. Val Kilmer as Doc Holiday in Tombstone. Mm. That motherfucker's got tuberculosis. Didn't he the fucking die really yeah. horribly? Yeah, he had TB, right? Isn't he got yellow? Didn't he turn jaundice and shit? I don't know how he died, I think he but died it was TB. not good. I think it was TB. So no, like yeah. Hi, I want to. I want to be Ben Franklin so I can have syphilis. Like no, thank syphilis? you. Syphilis. <laughs> Suffer and fuck attach with the <laughs> syphilis. <laughs> this is the word po- worst podcast we've done. Is it? Oh yeah. By f- stretches of the imagination. By many Ricky Throder th- thumbs. thumbs, thumb lengths. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, <laughs> Maverick and Top Gun. Naval salute. I mean, I that was gonna be on my list. I think 
It it can't not be on a list. I w- it was because he's now see this is the point about a movie where I took it is like well now he's making a resurgence as the fucking as Jester, I mean as Viper. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean he's Maverick, but he's Viper. He's playing m- m- Viper. M- 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 Viper. <laughs> m- 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 Viper. Um, that's a good one. Those are three very solid choices, except for the first one. And the second one. The treasure protectors. <laughs> no, I don't. Remember. I don't even remember what he said. So that's cool. All right, we got uh, three Georgia people. Yes. Three choices each. Yes. Nine horrible characters. <laughs> Maverick's no, awesome, no, they're dude. All, no, I think most of those the are football coach is good. No, they're all good. The coach, all of them are good. Yeah. Uh, next on the list, uh, Teresa selected Wonder Woman. Good one. Uh, uh, not a TV show one. I'm assuming movie Wonder Woman. Yeah. Okay. And I, how I, could you not want to be her though? I would play with myself all. And I said, would your way. husband be the seat in the invisible jet? So you don't, he, <laughs> you'd always be sitting on his face. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, I cracked myself up. I love your ho- your comedy, man. And, your uh, humor is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> so, is um, the seat I on like the invisible be... jet really a character? Well, the se- well, see the thing. The thing is weird. Is the seat wouldn't be the face? I think the seat would be where the would be sticking up, like the same seat, like just sitting in his lap. He'd have a really weird shape to have his butt be the seat, or is the seat be the face? Is that a no or a yes? <laughs> uh, the seat character plays, sir. The seat can play as a character. Yes. It's a thing. It's a thing. So that's his husband. Oh, so yeah. that's her husband. So her husband chose Maverick from Top Gun? I see a trend. Um, I'm starting to sense a trend. Um, you generic people. Stand by, you fucking psycho. Nah, mine's generic too, though. My 14 that I chose that are only, only three. Why am I standing by? Because I'm trying to look at the rest of the people on the list. Oh, whoa, excuse me. Let's, um, let's take... Okay, let's send it over to Ricky Schroeder's son. See what he has to say about it. Abel, uh, Abel's the, Abel the guy with the degree in film production. Oh, God. He's he, going to pick like Hedy, like Citizen Kane and shit. He selected Danny Ocean. Motherfucker. Okay. Chili Palmer. That's great. From, from Get, Get Shorty. Shorty. That's a great one. That's a good one. See? Look at me. Look at me. When I tell you things, Ray, that's how they are. Yeah. Look, don't look at me like I'm. No, look at me like I'm looking at you. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, I. Lo- that's one of my favorite movies. Get Shorty with Dennis Farina and Hackman and Rene Russo and Danny DeVito. It's like one of the. It's such an amazing cast. It really is an amazing movie. It's funny. It is. It is. Sure. Oh, and <laughs> Delroy Lindo. The black guy. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember the movie that well. I have. I believe I actually have a copy of that, sir. That I will lend you to. Unto thee. Unto thee. Uh, that one's get shorty, right? Not be cool. That's Correct. get shorty. Be get cool shorty. was the file, the sequel. To yeah. That. All right, that's a great one. Chili Palmer. See, motherfucking Abel, man. Here, I don't. I'm getting very uncomfortable. Third was Trent from Swingers. Trent. Fucking wait! He went. He went with non Favreau. He went with Trent. That's what it says, dude. Trent. You know who Trent is? Yeah. Trent's what's the fucking face? Jo- the other guy, Vince Vaughn. Yeah, Vince Vaughn. Yeah. I I, I don't know to tell you. I'm Come purely- on, man. Who's the big winner? Mikey's the big winner. Mikey. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God! The best scene of any movie, and I never brought it up, is Uh-oh. in Swingers. Ruh row. When he gets the the woman's number. At the bar. Have you ever seen Swinger? Yeah, it's been a long time. He gets his woman's phone number on the bar, at the bar, and he goes back all glowing about how he got this girl's number because he hasn't had a piece in like six months and he hasn't talked to anyone. And it's John Favreau, and he's like a lovable loser named Mikey. And his friends are like, bro, you got to wait three days. But then, but then, you know, I thought three days was a little gauche. And then you got to wait this, this and that. And then he goes, how about I forget all together? How about I fucking just, I pick her, I call her in three months and say, I just found your number on my wallet. Would that be okay? He goes, laugh now, Mikey, but you're going to regret it if you call too early. And then he goes, well, how long do you guys wait? They look at each other and they go, seven days. And they say fucking like synchronously. And then he gets home. 
and he puts her phone number and he counts three days on the calendar and he puts a pin on her number. And he's like, three days. Okay, I just got to wait three days. <clears throat> no more than three seconds later, he grabs the number and he calls. Hey, Nikki. Hi, it's Mikey. Blah, blah, blah. And then it, the machine cuts off on him as he's giving his number. And then he has to call back to yeah, give the whole okay, number. Now I remember that. And then he has to call back because he keeps getting cut. Off, and it's like 13 calls in. And then he starts talking about how he hasn't been in a relationship in a while. And it's the most uncomfortable thing that every man has gone through when they've had to call people. When texting You're wasn't a thing. You had to call and leave a message, people. You couldn't even just get ghosted, my friend. You had to leave a record that you existed in the form of a vocal recording terrible and then and then the 13th or 14th time he's like and she's like hello he's like oh nikki you've been there the whole time don't call me again but trent is the motherfucking other guy the tall dude tall dude vince vaughn vince vaughn motherfucker i love trent and he's an asshole but he's fun that's a great movie swingers three very good choices man i know right yeah that's a shame why because they're really i really admire those choices it's hard for me to admire people, man. I, I want I I probably go out of my way to not. And that's probably a problem of mine. But I like people I, I as a whole. Abel's got Abel seems to got He got movie man. shit. He definitely got movies. He knows well the his thing shit. is that's the thing, is I would never think of myself in any way a an educated movie watcher. I just know what I like. But that I like three things that he was really down with as an educator. I'm flattered by that. Yeah, I yeah, I agree. That's Flatter. that's cool. It's flattering. Thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So who else we got on your list? Uh my cousin, one of my primos. Vinny? No. You someone picked my cousin Vinny? No. That's the weird My cousin Jose uh, Luis. Oh, your cousin. Okay. Yeah. Uh He stole my thunder, number one, Indiana Jones. Cause that's awesome as shit. That is an awesome one. Number two. Oh, sorry. Yes. Indiana Jones. Phenomenal. Number two. Bandit from Smoking the Bandit. Okay. That would be <laughs> Burt Reynolds? Yes. Loaded up and trucking. Because that's awesome. I didn't think of that. That's really cool. I didn't think of that either. Yeah, that didn't cross my mind. Not at all. But that's a great choice. Yeah. Thought. That's a great choice. You know, you know he's getting away with it. And they, yeah. You know. The car. Yeah, for its time. And it was such... And it's such an underperforming vehicle because it was a 1970 whatever. It was like it was the year they put in all those restrictions on. Oh, speed. was it? Yeah, oh, it's I got hella. Ho- it's got hella torque, but it's only got like 150 horsepower. It's like shut not- up. Yeah, because well, there's two things in an engine: horsepower and torque. Yeah, horsepower is how fast it can go. Torque is how quickly it can get there. So when they made all these emissions things, they still had the torque of like a V8, but they got they had it all dialed down That's to try to bullshit. save on fuel. I know it's stupid shit. I did but not know that. But it was a 71, that. right? 72? 77. So, oh, yeah. So, oh, that, by that time. It was fucked. Yeah. I'm going to pull it up while you look. Keep going. I'm going to tell you the horsepower of the, of the original Bandit car. Well, you're going to do another good accent here in a second. Oh, sweet. I Number three I was that. Martin Riggs from Lethal Weapon. Okay, okay, okay. As, uh, oh, no, not I'm that I'm getting guy. too old for this shit. I'm, I'm getting too old for this shit. Uh, Martin uh, Riggs was... Uh, and in Maverick. I'm getting too old for this shit. Remember that? <laughs> Remember when he was a, the bank robber? Remember Danny, oh, Danny yes. Glover made a cameo yes. as the bank robber? And he's yes. like, and he jumped and his, his bandana fell down. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, and he rides away. He's like, I'm getting too old for this shit. Yeah, no, but Martin Phenomenal. Riggs was. Uh, was not Murtaugh. No, it was not Murtaugh. It was, uh, I forget his fucking name. Uh, William Wallace. Well, crush you like a worm. Rape and murder. <laughs> Stupid dog. Oh, God. Okay. So, that was number three. Was uh, William Wallace from Lethal Weapon? I love it. William Wallace. So, why did he pick um, a Catholic douchebag? Oh, my uh, God. Douchebag. No, that's not <laughs> the new. No, 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 no. <laughs> it came up with 800. And yeah, that's horse shit. Horse shit. It came up with 840 horsepower. Are you ready? Yeah. Gotta, I'm looking. Uh, please continue. It's got to be like What's three or four hundred. No, it dude. doesn't. It was a four hundred three size engine, but it had it had 
200 horsepower and 325 feet pound of torque. 200 horsepower. Dude, 200 horsepower. My Honda Civic had 196. My Civic SI had 197. The new Honda Civic SI or the the Type R has 306. Yeah. Yeah. And that thing weighs a sh- yes. 3,000 pounds. Yes. Easy. Right. But the torque is there. You see yeah, how the torque is pretty high? Yeah, no, I know. But, but the problem was they put all these emissions on yeah. the fucking cars, and it only had 200 horsepower. Yeah. It still could go fucking 100 and some miles an hour. Right. It just took a while it, to get up to that speed. Well, the torque is actually, it could get there quickly, but the top speed wasn't an extra 10 or 15 miles an hour. Because, like, horsepower sound, torque is a better, bigger of number course. than horsepower, in my opinion. Yeah. Because... Everyone can get to 100 miles an hour. Even my fucking 80 horsepower, an 80 horsepower car can go 100 miles. An yeah, hour. of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, but that, that isn't that queer, crazy. You would think my old car, my my 1964 Oldsmobile 98 that weighs 800 thousand pounds. <laughs> Sounds like the space shuttle. It's got a 350. Okay, it's only got a 350 crate engine. This is a 403. So this one's bigger. The Trans Am's bigger. Minus 350 horsepowers and 418 pounds of torque. Shit. And her, this thing is a 403 versus a 350 and is only 200 horsepower and 325. So that just tells you, we didn't know. That was a sports car back then. We didn't even, we can't, we weren't even in the muscle car era. You no. and I were not born no. in the muscle. That was such a beautiful era that I yeah. never was a, lucky to be a part of. I would have, that's, I'd love to. I'd love to be like a twenty-five to thirty-five year old. Right that sweet spot in that the nineteen sixty-eight Camaro, sixty-eight, sixty. Yeah, right in. Even GTO is sixty-five Le Mans when the GTO first came out. Yeah. Oh, that would have been tasty. Getting too old for this shit. Getting too old for this shit. All right, so <laughs> yeah, so isn't that weird? That does surprise you that it's only a two hundred horsepower car, but it, you everyone looked at that as like the sports car at the time. Yeah. So Bandit. Any other? R- Lethal Weapon comments, Indiana Jones comments. Rape, murder, and torture. Rape is that, and murder. Is that from Braveheart? Yeah, it is, okay. unfortunately. So uh, um, what's, his, what's his thing? I don't even fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. When he breathes, or when he's eating the Vidalia apple, like onion, like an apple. I don't fucking know. That was know. weird. It was weird, bro. I don't have a Murtaugh. I'm not Murtaughian. Are you Riggs, Ac- Riggsian? You're Acroidian, bro. Ac- I'm more Acroidian than Riggsian, yeah. sir. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder. Son. Hell that was yeah. an excellent point. So that was an excellent point. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming to the tail end here, bro. All right, I love it. Well, this is good. Okay, so we have... Um, I mean, to the tail end. Yes, we... Uh, we have some responses from the sexy MILF. She said, um, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. The original, um, not the reboot. Um, yes, sir. Hands uh, up. Yes, um, sir. Uh, who's the sexy MILF? You know who I'm talking about. Are you allowed to say that? Am I I'm not allowed to say whatever I want. It's a free country, bro. Uh, second of all. Bro, yeah. Do I know who this person is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you got anything She's on a MILF? Yeah. So you got anything on Tomb Raider? She's got a MILF? She's not just an ILF? Correct. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, Tomb Raider's a great choice. Uh, she, I don't what's dude, the, it's who's Laura, the chick in the first one? It's fucking, one? what's her face? It's John with Voight's daughter. Yeah, John Voight's daughter. John Voight's daughter. daughter. Uh, what's the fucking face with the thing? With the lips. God damn it. Angelina. Brangelina. Yeah. Brad's yeah, Angelina with Jolie. the blood around her neck and shit. Yeah, from when the they guy made out Billy with her Bob. brother and her dad. Yeah, Ugh. I remember. Gross. It's all good. Hey, look, free love, bro. As long as you don't have kids with them and fuck up that gene pool, you're good. Ugh. You can kiss whoever you want, man. Seriously, it's just not me, bro. Don't kiss me. Well, yeah, I mean, but but that's with consent, man. That's see, that's the thing people don't fucking understand. The whole point of like is consent. If you're an adult and you can consent to it. Do whatever the fuck you want as long as everyone else isn't hurt by that so they don't require their cons- you don't require their consent to be able to do what you want because it would hurt them. That's all. We talked about this ad nauseum for almost two and a half hours last time. Just um, don't be a dick. Don't don't be a dick. May I share a story with you? Yeah. Going off a plate story. I've already hit the harp today on this 
on this one, right? Yes, I'm not sir. Gonna, okay, I'm not going to do that. But so Megzi and I are downtown, and we put our car in a little slot. And I thought I thought the the meters were only on, were not on weekends, but it turns out they're twenty four. They're what? They're six a.m. to ten p.m. Monday through Sunday. That's every day of the week. Monday through Sunday, so seven days a week. Yes. So it is every day. I didn't yeah. know that though. I thought they'd be closed on weekends because that would make sense. Right. It makes sense. Right. But it's not. Okay, cool. So they can monetize over the weekend, but it's still 10 PM. So if you're paid till 10 and it's two hours at a time. So if you're paid till 10 and you stay there till the bar is closed or whatever, or restaurants, 2 AM. So it's another four hours of free parking. It's not, and it's not expensive. Like two hours is like $3 and something. It's not expensive. Okay. So Megzi has a little app that, talks to the little meter she's like i think i've got the app for this thing and i'm sorry that was the worst magazine impression it was pretty fucking good. like i'm doing great i think i have an app for this thing that's how it, i think things are gonna go swimmingly well she's Megzi's never said swimmingly before super positive she's, she's never super. said swimmingly you dipshit okay probably not <laughs> so so you know i have a vanity plate you do so i pull up the car and by now a lot of people know we have vanity plates you and i we've shared both of them on this podcast and on someone else's. Both. Both of them. Hair metal for you? Yes. Hair metal. Hair MTL. And didn't bevel. <laughs> Don't be evil for me. DNT, B E V L. Not hard. So. It, Magzi, your license plate is not hard. It's don't be evil. Oh, yeah. It's not not hard. <laughs> not not hard. Duh. Whoa. Of course I should know that. So she's like, oh, yeah. What's your license plate number? I actually start to walk towards the back of the car to go. It was like the who let the dogs out. Who? Megzi. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like that. And I'm looking at her and I'm like, D N T. <laughs> and I'm giving her the, the hand wavy, like, you, you know, know the how rest. the rest is go- <laughs> I'm like, you know how the rest of this goes, right? We laughed for like. Did she? At what point so did she catch on? It just I had to kind of because we were so focused on like, the task that we didn't even think outside the box. Like, not even there was no box. I don't know what to say. I we're so frozen on the task. Like, what is it that you go? I should know this because it's like so simple and it's a vanity plate. So we laughed. There's no, there's no, there's no harp deserved for that. But I thought it was funny because it was very similar to who, who let the dogs out? Who let them? I did. (sighs) (laughs) It's similar to that. Hey, so where are we at? Communists. Uh, (laughs) Talk tick. Tip talk. Okay. So after Laura Croft from the Tomb Raider. Yes. We have Maria from the Sound of Music. How do you solve a problem like that, bitch? You don't solve a problem like Maria because no man has ever solved any problem related to any woman ever. So, no. That deserves one of these, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is that is the most telling thing. <laughs> we just don't. We don't. The hills are alive with the sound of music. You know what's fun? <laughs> what? Telling three women much younger than yourself... And myself. Ourselves. That men are inferior, and that's why we work so hard at oral and pleasing. Because we, as adults and enlightened beings, understand that pleasure goes both ways. And we like to give before we ever receive, because we know we're going to receive. How did, how did that, what was the response to this statement? They were like, huh, kind of shocked, a little giggly, but I'm like, no, you guys don't understand. Like guys don't know what the fuck they're doing. True. They, they like, if you look at evolution, their job is to just get it to come out. Like that's because procreation is the whole freaking point of the whole thing in the first place. I mean, evolutionary speaking, right? Can I, I don't understand how we went from the sound of music to oral sex solving a problem like maria oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was about the most direct non tangent i'm sorry i'm not drunk I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up now but all i know is that you and i are very very aware by the way chris is still a single lady oh so take advantage of that um that we will give 
much more and well before we ever even consider ourselves. Because we're we understand that two, three pump chump might happen. We understand we that. We try not um, to make right, that happen. We don't want 32 seconds of bliss. We'd like eight hours of bliss. We, were we lucky to get 32 seconds of bliss? Eight pump chump's bad. Eight pump chump. Any pump chump. Any, if you can count to the number of pumps. Yeah. I mean, it's not like the Tootsie Roll. Like, one, no. two, who, no, that's three. Bad. Three. <laughs> like, is it like a uh, Mr. Owl? How many pumps does yeah. it take to get to an orgasm? Oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's find out. I, one, dude, you have fucking ruined the sound of music for me, dude. Three. <laughs> I can never listen to that record again. Fuck. Can you share your story about you and Megzi and how you guys have, 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 <sighs> created a friendship around sharing certain uh, entertainment with each other? Sure. <laughs> like how you use the word entertainment. Well, I don't know another word to say because so, I don't know um, piece of shit musicals doesn't really Megzi, fucking sound right. Check marks, lovely girlfriend loves the theater. And I... What's her current favorite? <sighs> Alexander Hamilton. His name is Alexander Hamilton. So... I've never seen that play. I, I haven't been to the theater in um, maybe a year, but I used to go about three, four times a year to see different plays. Um, I, my, I was raised, my parents were very, they weren't theatrical, but they would go to see different plays all the time. So I grew up, you know, watching that stuff. So I've seen, I got to go to a play on Broadway in New York and I've, I call it my quarterly dose of, dose of culture so i would so i've seen just about everything everything from beauty and the beast to stupid oklahoma to man of la mancha i've seen four times and bewitched i'm oh not bewitched um wicked was just phenomenal did you see book of mormon oh yeah book of mormon was so good and the only musical i've ever can say i've really watched as an adult and chosen to watch it so good so fucking good the first scene when they use cartman's voice i was like oh my god they oh my god this is not oh my god <laughs> i'm jesus you guys <laughs> like holy crap <laughs> it was fucking beautiful yeah it was really funny and what was brother what was the fucking brother cocksucker <laughs> or whatever what was his name was a cocksucker i don't know Dick fucker or something like it was motherfucker. I think it was brother motherfucker or something. It's like, or whatever it was. It's that fucking, that was so funny. I just remember the opening song was Orlando. Cause he wanted to go to Orlando, Orlando. I love you. And then he ends up going to Africa and uh, there was a song called There's Maggots in My Scrotum. General motherfucker. Uh, and then whatever. they had t-shirts that said there's maggots in my scrotum out in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's uh, you can beer Google it. It really said that on the shirts. It's was hysterical. So yes, Book of Mormon was fantastic. The only one I so watch, anyway. So, I can't I, so that's the backstory. The current story is Megzi's obsessed with stupid Alexander Hamilton, and Alexander she's singing it Hamilton. ad nauseum to the point where Checkmark wants to put a bottle of bourbon to his head and pull the trigger. Checkmark, Deutschmark, Wurmark. And Mark, all all, all four of the multiple thing. personality disorders want to put a bourbon to their face. I am far too looking for a shotgun for face because I hear Hamilton of Alexander all day. <laughs> it's on the plus of the Disney, and they play it, and they are like, "It's on the plus." He's like, he is Alexander Hamilton. Shut the fuck up about this man. This man, I get it. He's not even president ever. Not not ever president. Fuck this man. <laughs> Who's this man is? Who's this Alexander Hamilton is? <laughs> oh, shit. I still love you, Megzi. I love your choices. Oh, that's the best check mark choices. rant ever. There's more to come. Oh, dude. So anyway, Ricky about, Schroeder's thumb is very upset right about About now, three also. weeks ago, um, I to try to relieve the tension in check marks brain stem, I said I challenged her to sing a different play for one week. So, um, on Sunday I gave her, I said, wicked, this was three Sundays ago. She goes, Oh, that's going to be easy. I've seen wicked nine times. I went, Oh my God. Oh, uh, holy shit. 
She goes, okay. And then two weeks ago. How many? Nine no, times. No, no, 19? Nine, no, no, nine times. Nine times. No, no, Jesus. Nine times. So, and I, that's for real. I didn't know that. That might actually play in our relationship. You're welcome. Or Thank you I'm sorry. Adding, thank you for adding data to this. Data. So, data, data, Tomato. Caribbean, Caribbean, I don't know. Potato, motherfucker, you know, same thing. <laughs> Dick face, tomato. <laughs> so, then last week I gave her my dad's favorite play, Man of La Mancha, which I've seen four times. And I know I used to play it all on the piano. And then today I gave her, oh, Oklahoma, where the wind comes moving down from the plains. You're welcome. Where the wave it wheat can sure smell sweet and the wind falls right before the rain. And then you say, a yip by yodel, yay. And then, and we're doing fine, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Sing it with me. O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. I don't know the fucking words. Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you did not fucking know I would do that. No, did I you? did. That was great. I thought you could spell Oklahoma with me. That's why I said single. with Check me. Mark is from Oklahoma, it. Czech Republic. Dodge Mark likes Oklahoma. He's he's visited there many times. <coughs> In Oklahoma, there's the largest McDonald's that spans across the Oklahoma highway. It is delicious and nutritious and has a museum also. Really? Yes. Wow. Would you like me to look it up? For no, you? I don't fucking care. Oh. Okay. Well, oh, so are we back on Maria? Is yeah. that- <laughs> I'd love to get back on Maria. I've never um, been on I've never been on Maria in the first place. Hold on, but- <laughs> Hello, Maria, are you there? Maria. Call her. Are you there? Call her. Yes. What uh, the Mar- fuck Maria, is line two, Maria. On? Holy shit, we that was a that was, was like fourteen point three eight six two tangents. That's pretty good. That we got back to Maria is pretty good. And so how do you solve a problem? Like, you just stoop her? Or what do you do? Uh, duct tape? <laughs> I think that was that promotes um, domestic violence, but I don't think you can do that on this podcast. Uh, I, I'm i sorry? Anal sex. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It was funny is that stupid. <laughs> a couple years ago when we had that stupid Hurricane Maria, that's yeah. all I did was sing that song. <laughs> yeah, t- Hurricane uh, Maria is uh, category two. How do you solve a problem like Maria? I, no. You got nothing? I don't know if I can say it. Okay. You, should we move along? I want to. Yeah, let's move along. Okay. So so, Maria, after, so what, that was the second. The yes, first, the one, first was one was Laura, Laura Croft. Croft Tomb Raider. Yes. I'm still trying to figure out who the MILF is. Okay. Bless you. Oh, excuse. Ricky Schroeder's thumb. That was really Ricky, inappropriate. Ricky, you stink. Ricky, Ricky Schroeder's thumb, you should say thank you right now. Thank you. <laughs> Holy fuck. He's what? a ventriloquist. He can throw his <laughs> voice. <laughs> wow, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Let me guess. The third one's going to have a vagina, too. <laughs> You're fucking... Yeah, but it's the prettiest vagina of all of them. They... All vaginas are pretty. Yeah, this they, one's That is not true. That is pretty. Su- it's pretty true. Go yeah. ahead. Kate Beckinsale from Underworld. Oh, Lord. That is... Oh, a, that is a Underworld. Really nice. Underworld. And Thor Ragnarok? No. She was the bad. She was the sister of Thor and Ragnarok. That's Kate Beckinsale, bro. She's gorgeous. That's not no, it was not, bro, bro. All right, you you go keep talking. You go keep let, talking. Okay, I'm gonna let you spank it to Kate Beckinsale, and that's great. So, no, I was totally kidding about the vagina thing because obviously we're gonna do it for, through our filter. If I, I'm, I think I have three men. Although if I had a woman, I'd play with myself all day. Yeah, like we'd never leave the house, yeah, dude. We, that's why I choose like, someone can like I Wonder be Woman. Kate Beckinsale with size F titties. Right. No, you cannot. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to be. <laughs> I'd like to be Jesse Spano from fucking Showgirls or Gina Gershon Ooh. from Showgirls or uh, or um, Jennifer Tilly from Hot to Trot. Yeah, but if I Jennifer Tilly so never hot. spoke. I know, but. Because I had pissed I myself just play off. I with myself, oh my God, all day, all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Stop Where talking and from? start typing. Oh, okay. Thor Ragnarok. That's not her, dude. I know exactly who you're talking about. No, it's fucking Kate Beckinsale, It's not my Kate friend. Beckinsale, bro. What a bet. Oh, fucking damn it. I win. I win. I, you're so right. See, I it's not her at you. all. It's Kate, it's Kate Blanchett. God Kate, damn it. Totally. I fucked that up, bro. Dude, I, you know how many things I say that are wrong? A lot. I bet you I'm 5149 wrong versus correct. No, you're like 6114. 
with the arrest undecided? Yes. <laughs> Are those the like vote the has not been cast candidate? yet. The, those are write-in candidates. Yes, They're, they all, they all voted for Thor's sister. It's Kate Blanchett. I'm a fucking moron, but Kate Beckinsale is a beautiful choice. She is gorgeous, and look, girl power. She kicks ass. I mean, yeah. You picked Mila Jovovich from fucking Resident Mila Evil. I'm on, I'm on the same. I'm on the same page. She's a fucking ass kicker. She's fucking cool. Lara Croft kicks total ass, and the middle one, we, uh, so, we can't. Maria. You can't solve her. It's perfect. <laughs> That's a Maria sandwich. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. All right, what do we got next? Uh, I'm, st- I'm still wrapping my head around the MILF. Okay. <laughs> Your lips are moving and nothing's <laughs> coming out. I know. You're like, are you doing math? Four plus seven. I'm, I'm like, you know, the which, what does MILF stand for in Chris's world is what I'm thinking. Pie. Okay, mm. move along, Mr. Steve Millar. He has two Steve? choices. Two? J- you couldn't even get to three? No, we were... He was drunk. I don't know. I love it. Uh, James Bond. We talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> Jaime Bond. That's a good one. And did he choose? Because you said movie or whatever, which one did he I, choose? I did, did not ask. Connery? I should okay. have. Just curious. I don't. James Bond as a character is fucking phenomenal. Best cars, best toys. Literally better than fucking anything Batman could come up with. Girls. Like, versus Batman had a girl. I mean, he had girls, but not like, oh, he didn't fucking have Martini and. Shaken, not stirred. Q, fucking Q. That's the character I'd probably want to be. You Miss get fucking, Penny, Miss you Penny, you invent something? the toys. Yeah. Holy shit! I didn't even think about like Q. But Q doesn't get any of the credit. He doesn't get the girl. Right, he doesn't. But he gets all. He made all that shit. Like, like I would rather not have the notoriety of a single, the slinky. I wish, like, if I invented the Slinky and got the notoriety of the Slinky, I'd rather have no notoriety but invent 8,000 Slinky-type slinky inventions for the world. I don't need the fuck. I don't need the cred. I get it. I understand that. Like, not, it's not what motivates me. Yeah. Now, I do understand there, that it motivates some people. Yeah. So I get it, but it wouldn't motivate me. I understand. No. No, Steadfast. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know. Who's Steadfast? He's... He's next to um, Ricky Shaky Slow. Ricky Shorter's Pinky. His name is Steadfast. <laughs> I think. I think it's Stead. Oh, it's Oprah's other guy, Steadman and Steadfast. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. That's awful. We're not going to talk about Oprah. Uh, next on Mister Miller's list, two of two. Two of two. Whatever. Deuce Bigelow, the male gigolo. Didn't he have to fuck some uggos though? Didn't the other guy have the better life? The when other dude hit- did. But Deuce Bigelow is a rock star, man. Capes. I'm not a Rob Schneider fan. He did. Se, uh, but you know, he you know. banged the chick with narcolepsy and the chick with one leg. True. The chick with one leg was hot, dude. She was. She was beautiful. She was. I could look past well, one leg. Lin, I mean, Linda McCartney. I don't know her name. She have a one breast. No, who's the one that Paul McCartney? That's Linda McCartney died of bre- breast cancer. Of she had breast cancer. But remember, Paul McCartney married another woman who's the woman without a leg from Dancing with the Stars. Oh, I didn't know that. She has no leg. Okay. You know what? It's probably the Kate Blanchett, Kate Kate Beckinsale (laughs) thing. Let me make sure. Let me make sure that. Oh, my God. There's no way that. Can I be that wrong? There's no way that Paul McCartney married the chick from Deuce Bigelow. No, he didn't marry that chick. He married a woman sans leg. Sans leg. They married. To woman, no leg. I don't fucking. This is know how the to worst Google. beer Google I don't know search. To, I know, it, it probably is. Ever. There it is. Heather Mills, the ex-wife of Sir Paul McCartney, vegan and yep, recover from leg amputation. See, that's You're why welcome. she lost her leg. She's a vegan. Probably. She had some bacon. She'd probably have a leg. She probably got it caught in a V, <laughs> vi- in like a vice grip. A vice grip. It does happen. Okay, so he only had two, like. What's funny is he had two, and one of them was Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. That's how much thought he put into this. Well, I did ask him, you know, I gave him seven seconds to time to yeah. respond. How quickly did you get my answer, sir? Like, I don't know, four minutes? I literally just said, I'm like, I'm just going to go these three, and you're like, okay. I didn't think about it. I'm like, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We put a lot of thought in this, ladies and gentlemen. Look, every episode goes Tons. through the highest research standards. It's Oprah Service Winfrey excellence, standards. 
quality monitoring. Yes. Quality assurance. Yes. We, we record every episode for quality assurance purposes. Yes. I, it's important. Oh, yeah. Because we couldn't have Lots quality assurance unless we recorded the podcast. Yeah. Tons of that shit. And we don't even give it to anybody. When we just listen Jack to Mark has to go pee, we edit that out, all that shit. Yeah, but don't, that didn't happen. These aren't the urinations you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> all right, onto my list, dude. On, oh, are we okay? So we've we've now finished yes, all the these other. Are, people. Those were thank all the people's. You, thank you to, to all the surveys. Thank you to Mary, Jace, and to everyone else. Yes, thank you. Yes, very hey, much. Hey, so. we're thinking about having Thai and or Asian after this. You're welcome to stay around if you That's want. So but if you sweet. have to feed the dogs, I totally know you have to get home and do all that cool okay. shit. But we're gonna pick up something from the Thai place. Oh, I don't know which one yet. So good. It's so fucking good. I do have plans. As long as it's not Plan B, I'm not planning on taking a Plan B pill. No, sir. Yeah, don't do that because you're a dude and you I'm weigh dude. more than 150 pounds or something. If you more weigh more than 150, you can't I take think, a Plan B. I think B? it's like 172 something, 175 or something. It's really interesting because they don't tell. I don't know if they tell you that it's on there, but they probably don't like. Hi, hi, tons of fun. You might not work. This Plan B pill might not work on you. Just saying, this is just for that's for a more dense clientele. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no one heard that, but that's gonna be turned up and someone's gonna hear it. Well, that's okay because oh, I am shit, one, bro. It's so cool. Funny. It's cool because I am one. It's okay. I hope everyone's still listening. I hope we've alienated the two or three people who reached out to us to tell us they actually listen to us. Oh shit, that's funny, dude. It is pretty funny. So, do you have your three, or do you? Are we uh, I do, and I have a couple honorable mentions. Okay. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Chris's first one. I will go back and forth. Right? You, me, you, me, you, sure, me. Yeah. And then, and then your honorable mentions. How's that sound? Sure. Beautiful. Number one. I'm still finalizing my list. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any stories to fill in this time, though. Dun, dun, All right, dun, so I got dun, five. Dun, 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 dun. I'll take five. I'll take whatever you got, my friend. All right, so I'm going to start with my honorable mentions. Okay. The we'll shark from Jaws. <laughs> I love that idea because he got to eat Quint. Yes, and he died in the end, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. The dude got to chow down for yeah. the whole movie. Everyone feared that fucker. And then he died, and he got blown up, and that's cool. And people were talking about him like 40 years later, fifty, almost 50 yeah. years later, like 40-some right. years later. Right. It's pretty impressive. He has a great legacy. He does. like, And even Son of Jaws or Jaws 3, like all those other ones, were, they're all, all his kids. All of his kids. So they're fucking wreaking havoc afterwards. Yeah. So he he definitely left a legacy. I that's a I think you should make that one of your top three. But that's great. That's great honorable mention. <laughs> Thank you for I'm, the salute. I'm saluting you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you, Joss. You're up, big man. Oh, are you, I thought you were doing honorable all your honorable oh. mentions first, and then we we're going to do our actual three. I'm then nah, fuck. Are we wrong? Okay, so no, that's all cool. right. I'll give you my other one then. Yeah, give me another one. Just give me. Does it matter what order? It really doesn't sure. matter whether honorable uh, My other honorable mention choice. is uh, Dirk Diggler. Because he had that fucking <laughs> prosthetic goddamn <laughs> schlong on him. From Boogie Nights. <laughs> God's damn. Is it because of the schlong? Is well, it the schlong? I mean, or is that he was a porn star? Okay. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. All of that. I mean, it's Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah, he's got true. a big wiener, and he's a porn star, and he got to party in the 70s. Like, what's, like... And look at his hair. I mean, come on. What happened to him in the end? Is Did there, he get a disease? Do I, who cares? Yeah, I, I guess. Is, if any, he lives so wide. It right, does not fucking like, matter how deep I don't remember in. what happened at the end of the movie, but does it matter? If he was like tarred and feathered and pulled apart by horses, is it worth it? Yes. Uh, that's called drawn and quartered. Drawn and quartered. You're welcome. Tarred and feathered, drawn and quartered. He could be both tarred both. and feathered, then drawn and quartered. If that's happened, it'd be worth it. It sounds like it because his schlong was Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and his name was cool. Hi, I'm Dirk, Dirk Diggler. Like, I'm Dirk Diggler. Nice to meet you. I'm thinking Dick Digger. I don't know why. Whatever it takes. Dick Digger with a schlong like that and Dirk Diggler. Diggle, Diggler. Very. Ooh, slow clap. What's up? That, that deserved a slow clap, sir. That was beautiful. Thank you. All right. So now your actual first of three. Is this correct? Is it where we're at? No, I still have three. Oh, bro. So right, um, I had them? Maverick. Yeah. I mean, obviously, okay, well, I love so many people at Maverick, and yeah. that's a great choice. You can't right. go wrong with so that. So there. Yeah, there you go. All right. So number one. Indiana Jones. It's got to be Indiana Jones, right? Yeah. 
God, he's such, he's handsome, smart, both scholarly and athletic. Like he's a smart jock. How the fuck does that happen? Like that never happened before. He was like so awesome. Tell me, tell me your love of him and, and what, well, he, shit. what I mean, he means just to you. Raiders of the Lost Ark in the first movie. You know, he got to discover an ancient area in ancient Egypt and dodge the Nazis and get in fights. And he only has fear of one thing, snakes. And yet he escaped a snake fucking tomb. And the list goes on and on and on. The, the guy's stud. He's got a bull whip. And he knows how to use a whip. That, I was you know. just going to end, end it with that. He knows how to use a fucking whip. You know? So the guy can. His dad's Sean fucking Connery. <laughs> He always gets we named the girl. The dog Indiana. The guy's, you know, the guy's a rock star. I agree, one hundred percent. Quick witted, quick with the gun, quick with the whip. No, has he can handle himself in a fight. God, I love that choice. It's probably the best one. That's probably the one we should end it on. On which we should. Sorry, end. I blew. I well, you I got another. Other. You probably I'll, have amazing I'll, ones. I'll end on a high one. They're all good. How fucking high is he? You'll What's find he out. Smoking a lot. All right. I would like to go with my number one choice. Yes. F- Abe Froman, the <laughs> Sausage King of Chicago. <laughs> the, the one and the only. Abe Froman? The one and only Ferris M. Effing Bueller. Say Ferris. Say Ferris. <laughs> to the point where there's a band named Say Ferris. <laughs> Like, the whole fucking movie. Like, his life was perfect. Sister Jennifer Grey, cute enough to be like, that's my sister, but not hot enough that you'd actually want to be with her so you don't have any temptation. That's <laughs> okay, that was probably statement. weird. Pre-nose job, Jennifer Grey. Yeah, yeah. So. And she drove the cool Fiero. She dro- met Charlie motherfucking Sheen, met yeah. out with him in drugs? the police. <laughs> Are you in here for drugs? <gasps> that sounded exactly like fucking drugs. You're welcome. Can you do that, again? Can you do that one more time? Drugs? Are you in here for drugs? How long did you practice that? Because that's pretty dead on. 12 years. Can you say tiger milk or fucking... Is that what it is? Tiger's milk or... Uh, tiger's blood, right? Tiger's blood. or whatever. Winning. Winning. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was delicious, man. <laughs> drugs. Are you, that was... I swear to God, I just thought we were watching a clip. Like, I, we might actually get copyright infringed just for how accurate that sounded. No, you won't. Okay, cool. Well, that's my guy, Ferris Bueller. He gets to dance on a float, have a fucking take it out, drive a f- Ferrari, and not and get away Gorgeous with all of it. Ferrari. And fucking wreck it and still get away with it, because because uh, what's his uh, Car- Cameron's the one that has to explain to his dad. Let my Cameron go, Rudy, you're an <laughs> asshole. Nine yeah, times. So, <laughs> um, Abe <laughs> Froman, Sausage King of Chicago, fucking just. That movie. Devastatingly handsome. Devastatingly handsome. And you know what? They never do like, you know how they do at the end of Animal House where like Bluto became Senator, Mrs. Blutowski, yeah. whatever. They never said what happened to, to Ferris. You just wonder. But it can't have gone wrong. No. He's lying in bed, throws the ball to turn off the fucking tape recorder. Right his dad comes. Thanks, Mom, Dad. All right, so you're home? I mean, fucking just. Dude, the kid got away with everything. Indeed. And the. He grew up to be Elon Musk. Probably. (laughs) Have his way, man. Okay, so that's my first. Ferris Musk. Ferris Musk. (laughs) Elon Bueller. (laughs) (laughs) So that's that's my first one. How how about your number two, sir? Who's your second favorite character? Rick Moranis from Ghostbusters. What's his name in that? I don't fucking know. Fuck. Why why him and not one of the... the four because i thought it'd be really cool to be one of those devil dogs to be possessed by <laughs> one of zool's Zool. creatures so not sigourney weaver zool no but one Ooh. of zool's devil dogs yeah. Ooh. Can and you, can you can you give me a there is no there is no day no only zool Ooh. oh zooly oh zool you're the best <laughs> so i just thought it'd be really like he's such a geeky guy hey yeah, who does your taxes <laughs> and he's Talking about vitamins and shit, and then he becomes a devil dog, you know? It's the most out-of-the-box, most creative, and probably most correct choice. Because you're not living the life of each of them. You're living the life of all of them as a third-party observer to the action. Yeah. When you're 
if you're Vankman and you're zapping, you're not paying attention to what fucking Egon's doing. True. But if you're just the guy watching all four of them do stuff, you're actually taking it. You're living all. You're of their seeing lives. the whole thing. That's a really. That's like an enlightened answer. That should have been on knocked conscious. Whoa, I'm I'm sorry that I blew your Rick Rickifer Moranis. That's a really good one. And then at the end, when he becomes freed from being a devil dog, he becomes the. Uh, the secretary from Ghostbusters becomes his girlfriend. Yeah. So Annie he, Potts. Yeah. So he gets a little, candles. And she's kind of cute. Annie Potts is totally so adorable. Ghostbusters. Totally adorable. Adorable. And then she was on Designing Women. And then yeah. Delta Burke ate her. And then threw right. her up. And lost all that weight. I thought Annie Potts was always a little bit attractive. Probably because she had red hair. I'm a red. I'm, I'm kind of a sucker. What, what, what you looking at over I'm there? I'm trying to find the character name. So Rick Moranis. Uh, any care to anything? Add anything else before we move on to the to the second choice of moi? Lewis Tully. <laughs> that's right, Lewis. Lewis. That's what it was. Thank you, Lewis. My favorite part of that is the beginning where fucking Murray's just zapping the dude with the cards, and she's getting like trying to match the cards, and the other and the hot chick is trying to match the cards, and she's getting them all wrong, and he's not zapping her. Excellent. Yes. Great. Excellent. Excellent. What yeah. a great answer. Yep, that one's correct. Gzzk. No. Gzzk. And he's like getting them right and <laughs> shit. Like, it's fucking beautiful. Um so I love Bill Murray a lot. Did you see that see that show I told you about? The the stories of Bill Murray? No. Oh, okay. So there's a Netflix show. Just type in Bill Murray and it'll come up. But it look it's basically Bigfoot with Bill Murray face on as like the cover. And it's like tales of bill murray and it's all like the bigfoot stories that you hear there are stories where he's like bill murray came into my house during a house party and started just doing my dishes bill murray walked into my house and started singing with the band bill murray walked into my party and just started hanging uh started bartending like you have these weird fucking like spooky stories of these live tale these legendary do they show urban, videos of it yeah these urban legends of bill murray doing this shit and then they show the actual shit happening wow and it's like dude the guy he just experienced to experience like he goes he he's in new orleans and he walks into this bar right before some freelance festival and he's got to do and he's sitting there he plops it down next to this guy and he goes I'll have a beer, I'll have a beer or whatever. And he goes, hey, what, what, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm Bill, by the way. And the guy's like, oh, I, I know who you are. I'm whatever. Right? And he tells him the story. And the guy, and he just was so, so interested in that guy's life, right? So this guy leaves, and he gets a call from the owner of the bar later going, Bill Murray just came back to the bar and is asking for you by name. He's like, hey, is Vernon here? Like, like that's the that's that's who I want to be. That's amazing. Dude. I want to be him. You can be. I don't have the means. Well, you, but I don't have the means, man. You I could just, be that in a small way. Yeah, in a in a much smaller way. But man, just to exp like, he just walked into my house and started ta doing my dishes. Well, don't do that. I, but that, you might get arrested. No, no. I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying. Like, it's Bill. Fuck. You have to be Bill Murray to be right, able to do that. Course. That's my point. That's why yeah. you have to be him. You know what I mean? Like. No, I'm saying like that impact just to have someone have a story about Bill Murray. Bill Murray fucking he he fucking took a weed eater and chopped down some shit in my backyard. Like, what the fuck? Really? Like it's it's awesome. Watch it. It's only it's only it's like an hour and a half, I think. But okay. it's really cool. It just tells all these weird wive tales or these urban legends of Bill Murray appearing out of nowhere. And then they're true because there's footage and eyewitness accounts and everything about it. It's so cool. I want to be Bill Murray. Fuck yeah. Ernie McCracken, as it were. I didn't choose him. I should have. So my second. Yes. Kirk. <laughs> it would be Mr. El Capitan of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Bones. Which Dolly. one? Captain. Which Kirk? Uh... I'm going to go Chris Pine Kirk only because he still might have a few movies <laughs> left in him. Well, you could do Kirk from 1980. I know, but I'm not a, I'm not a huge Shatner guy. 
I like John Luke was great. I mean, Patrick Stewart is still the best Kirk. I mean, Patrick Stewart's just a great actor. Yeah. So probably Patrick Stewart's Kirk. Maybe a nemesis against yes. Tom Hardy. I mean, if it were a movie only. But I'm talking just the character of James T. Kirk. James Tiberius Kirk. Fucking just... He's like the Ferris Bueller of space. <laughs> he does whatever the fuck he wants but and gets away with it. But does he take the day off? Well, he can if he wanted to. You should see the shit he does on his day off. Whoa. <laughs> so that's that's my second. He goes to a basic. virtual Cubs game? That would be pretty cool. Do they still play? Would yeah. it be the Federation Series, not yes. the World Series? Uh, so, yes. That's an excellent choice, sir. Thank you. Would you... Uh, Echo Lima just responded finally to my message. Excellent. From yesterday. That's good. So you do that one. I will do Megzi's honorable Excellent. mention. Excellent. And then we'll go to our final yes, final. Yes, love it. And then we will call it a motherfucking day. Yes. Because we are now at, uh, we're approaching four hours again today. Of course we are. That's we, what always happens. We do. Hey, we. by the way, we hope you're enjoying it. Jace. Thank you for listening in the first place. We're yeah. truly grateful because we're just trying to have fun with it and we're trying to get serious and have fun. So we're doing both. Echo Lima said Deadpool. I love Deadpool character. And his girlfriend is gorgeous. Right? But I would have a problem with the part where... Uh, where she dies? Yeah. Yeah, so. and the part where they keep like lighting him on fire and stuff. Yeah. In the first one? Yeah. The torture part kind of sucks. Yeah, but doesn't does he feel it, though? Doesn't Does he feel the pain? Or... I think he does. Yeah. Because he talk, remember he gets his arm cut off in the nubbin and it grows back. He's like, you know how much, hurt, how much this hurts? When something. he has his little baby legs. Yeah. The, and the lotion's, legs, right, right, the the lotions right there. And the baby, the baby pee. <laughs> it's like, that's not little or something. Or the ba- whatever. Oh my God. Was fucking, oh my God. What he a also great, said, what a great uh, character. Hold on. Can we go back to your favorite character in Deadpool 2? Chuck? No. Oh, no. Peter. Te- Peter. Peter. Yeah, Peter. The, the guy the, from Catastrophe. He goes, love you, sugar bear. <laughs> <laughs> Just go home. His mustache. <laughs> he's like wearing a blue. Hey, it's like a parachute. You think he's going to go to the wood chipper? Or do you think, right? And he's like, I got it. Then he gets down. And then the last, right when you don't expect him yeah, to die, he, he fucking dies. eats it. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. Just go home, sugar bear. <laughs> That's me. Uh, that I'm the X Men Peter. I remember. I just saw the ad and uh, thought I'd show up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any powers. <laughs> I'm really lucky. What was the, the ones? <sighs> yeah, was like just lucky. Yeah. Oh fuck! That was such a good mood. So Deadpool. That's a great character. He only gave two. The second okay. is the man with no name. Apparently, that's a western. Cool. I don't know that one. Shane rides off to the sunset. Knows what's going in. But I think he dies. He rides off a shot and dead, dying. They don't talk about it. Well, she. I think he dies. She. Oh, okay. I don't know. So uh, those are okay. The just because I don't know the man with no name, I don't know anything. It doesn't mean it's not awesome, right? Does not mean anything. E L Echo Lima, thank you. Yeah, for but real. Deadpool makes up for that because it's just a good fucking choice on its own. Yeah. And Deadpool could even go back to like the Wolverine Origins one with uh, yeah. where he had the Slickety Slacks. Uh-huh. Even though he's a different guy. Slickety Slacks. The, That's a fantastic the knife hands, description. Arms. The Terminator Too bad Two. Everybody can't T-2000. see you making an ass of yourself with your arms and your hands right now, sir. No yeah. one needs to see me as I am making an ass of myself on twenty four seven three sixty five. Twenty four seven and three sixty six on leap years, bro. What up? So Megzi's yes, Megzi chose one. She went right to it, and one of the things that I said is like it's probably good to have a career in in the movies because the character has a long life and still alive at the end of at least the movie part. Yeah, I don't like it as much as you don't like it, but it's Harry <laughs> Potter. It's a great choice when you think about it because. You start young, you learn fucking magic, you ride a fucking broomstick, you play Quidditch, grab a golden ball from some dude. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Other stuff, too. Yeah, like you, you kill Voldemort, who you can't say more than twice or three times. Is it? Is it like Beetlejuice? I don't know or the Or is it like rules? Beetlejuice? Or is it like... Be- uh, almost. Beetle- Voldemort. No. Voldemort. Voldemort. Oh, shit. We said it like four times. Voldemort. Oh, fuck, that's five. Okay, well, anyway... He kills that motherfucker. He he gets to hang out with Gary Oldman for a bit. Awesome. Like there's like a lot of coolness going on there. And he gets to hang out with Gandolfini and 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 uh shoot the glass. Yes. He gets to hang out with Alan Rickman. 
nice. Is he a bad guy though? He's good, bad, and indifferent. <laughs> he just is what he is. I don't. He's good a, and bad are really weird. Multiple personality disorders also. Yes, they're very weird concepts. Good and bad, because I there you, you can do quote unquote objectively bad things in the for the guise of good results for you. So if yes. what's good for you may not be good for someone. Your Maybe perception. Someone else. So anyway, but yes, he was kind of a bad guy. But Snapes were just like the douchebags anyway, kind of, in a way. I don't even know what Snapes are, dude. I, I don't fucking, dude, I didn't, I watched, I fell asleep in every single one of them, and I don't think I even got through half of them. Don't get mad at me. It's like the Lord of the Rings with magic wands. I just can't do it. Is Alexander Hamilton a Snape? <sighs> if, if he was. <laughs> His name would be Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> that's okay. all I know. Great. I don't think he'd be, I think he'd be oh Slytherin, that's what they are. Uh, Snape's the guy. Yeah, Professor Snape, he's a Slytherin. Or you could be a humble bumble bumblebore, Dumbledorf, Dumble Dumbledore and a hum, a Huffle Puffle, a Huff HR Puffin stuff. <laughs> <laughs> HR Puffin, Puffin stuff. stuff. Fucking dude. <laughs> The people that drew cartoons when we were growing up were fucking so high. high. So fucking dude, Puff the Sid Magic Dragon. And Mary Croft. Puff the Magic Dragon. Live by the sea. Yeah. Fucking HR Puff and stuff. Captain Motherfucking Kangaroo. He had an eye. Look at that haircut. Yeah. That was bad, dude. Bozo the clown. Oh, freaked me. That guy fuck. drank a lot. That motherfucker dra- drank drank. I can't really blame lot. him though. No, he was a fucking professional clown can't you don't you isn't that what you drew was drink what was that movie with bobcat goldthwaite where he was a clown that created a robbery scrooged no no gosh darn it i'm gonna shut up but bobcat goldthwaite genius literal borderline genius underrated as pretty much everything he is Smart guy. Where the fuck are we? What the? Okay. We're on to We're our on final wands. choices. Oh, sir. yes. Um, so the wand. Yes. Uh, Harry motherfucking Potter. Maybe. Gonna... So your last character is you want to be the wand? No. Harry. Th- oh. No, no. Harry Potter is my, is Megzi's choice. Okay. Sir. Listen. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't listen good. Can I be Debbie's vagina? <laughs> no. Okay, sure. From Debbie Does Alice? I can't just be Debbie's vagina? Do I have to be all of Debbie? Well, if you're Debbie's vagina, wouldn't... I just feel it. It just feels good. It just... Bro, I don't care that it's a penis making it feel good. It just feels good. <laughs> just... I mean, would you rather be one of the character's penises who only gets it one time, or Debbie, who you feel all of them? That's a rough question, dude. Think about it. Yeah, I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm gonna ha- can I think If you about get deep that? dicking all the time and you're a dude that doesn't like dicks, but it feels good, obviously, or you get to be one of the dicks, so you're still what you want to be, but you only get it the one time because you only <clears throat> want no recharge. I think it's a legitimate question. It is. Yeah. And I, I'm going to have to table that. May I report back? Yeah. My like answer you know what? I think we're going to have to ask podcast? Mary and the crew. Can we? Do we have a name for the like? Do we have a name for this group of people that are our friends? Like, the, yes. are they would would are they owlites? No, they're the beer googles. They're the googleite googleites. <laughs> double e double o double g i t e s g o o g g l i t e s. Team googleites. googleites. Hello, googleites. <laughs> Welcome to Googleiteville. Oh, uh, oh my God, Google. Googleites. Google. I like Googleites. And the and we all go to the Googleotech to hang out. The Googleotech. It's like the bibliotech, but for That's the Googlers. library. <laughs> we are the the, the Googleites hang out at the Googleotech. Okay. I think that's a pretty awesome genius. Name. I, I'm gonna put a poll out. How long should I put the poll out? I'm gonna do it on Twitter three for three days. Like, that's it? I oh seventeen. Seventeen days. days? <laughs> You and I have fucking jinxed each other four goddamn times in two fucking podcasts. 17 days seems a little 17 excessive. Days? Yeah, it seems like a long time. Four and a half. Let's do a week. Okay, fine. Seven I don't days. care. Okay, can we not have that, Woodsy? I don't here? even want to can be we... here. I'm not, even sp- <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here today. Okay, so... What did I say that one time? Maybe we should switch seats. I don't even like you. <laughs> I don't even like you. 
<laughs> hey, fucking, fucking, what? Oh, huh? Shit, that was even, so funny. Hey, man, do you want to switch these? I don't even like you. <laughs> hey, would you like? Would you like a piece of this cheesecake, man? I don't fucking respect you. <laughs> Not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> oh shit! All right, so uh, once again, final Meg's, character. Megzi's choice was Harry Potter, and I think that's an excellent choice. Yes. Because she puts out. <laughs> it's okay. I'll hold her purse. Whatever it takes. And we... We're on the final two. Yes, I don't, sir. You know, I should probably do a drum roll one, huh? You think so? But I think it's more fun when you do it on my fat bells. Okay. I don't, I don't know. That was very good. We have our last choice, and look at that time. It is right, exactly right up on it. We oh. knew we were going to be exactly this long. Oh, yeah. Because we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Jesus, dude. Can we ever go short? No. That's what she said. You know. We can never go short, sir. We always go long. It's like Think Dirk. about that, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that, Googleites. Dude, that's a great name. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh-huh. Did you come up with that just now? Yes. That's impressive. I know. All right. Last one, sir. How do you not know what my last pick is, dude? You should know. Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Nope. Damn it. I thought, honestly, I thought you were going to go solo or I thought you were going to go John Wick. Those nope. were my two. John Wick gets his ass kicked, dude. Like, yeah, but he also kicks fucking ass. Yeah, but he gets injured bad. But he also kicks fucking ass. And you know he makes it at the end. Yeah. And he's better than Jack Reacher, so you're not going to pick that douchebag. No, 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 no. Right. So who is it? Man? Corbin Dallas, multi pass. Fifth element. Corbin, how would I fucking know that? But that is genius. <laughs> that is so fucking genius. Corbin Dallas, multi pass. Multi pass, multi pass. And I even said Mila Jovich earlier today. Yes, you did. That's and I know fucking honestly, Twitter yeah, world, I know no fucking clue. I so like Mila Jovich was completely all, like not even part of any conversation. synchronicities. And Oldman. I said Oldman, too, because he gets to hang out with Gary Oldman on the, right now, yeah. just two seconds ago. Fuck, that is a great f- fucking choice, man. You're welcome. That's a great movie. I love Fifth Element. Fifth Element is an underrated movie. Yeah. It is Super so good story. Good. Blah, blah, blah. It's visually stunning. Great characters. It's kind of campy, but it's not. It's got real stuff. Like... It's a good movie. Chris Tucker's great. Yeah, in that role. right. The opera singer and oh, the yeah. whole thing with the oh, that is fucking beautiful. That is beautiful. What are you beer googling, dude? No, sir, you cannot look this up. Gary Shh. Oldman. Don't. Oh, I can't don't, read. Nah. I can't read it. Nah, don't. I don't even want to know, bro. I don't know. Ugh, my leg hurts. Okay. Corbin Dallas multi pass. Corbin Dallas, no, Corbin Dallas, multi pass, multi pass, Corbin Dallas. <laughs> and that, and to be clear, Corbin Dallas yeah. is Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. And, yeah. And saves the day, gets the girl, I guess. I mean, is she old enough? Like, it. oh, she's got to be 25 in the movie. No, in, no, in the movie, I feel like she's underage. That's what's scary about no that way. part of the movie. I don't know. And I think she's 17 when she does it. I know. I think she's underage. We need to beer Googles this. May I share? Yes. Just because you, this is one I don't think you, I just zagged when you thought I was going to zig. Okay. It's one that doesn't make it. He, he, it's, it is a he. I did not choose any women. I apologize. I, like I said, there are plenty of women from which I wanted to choose, but they would all be diddling myself the whole time. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't be able to do the movies. No, I'm just kidding. Cause Girl power, bro. Ocean's eight. I could have chosen any of the Oh, right? Just to be clear. I am choosing Norman Stansfield. And I had to look up his name. But basically, it's Gary Oldman's character in The Professional. That movie is fucking psychotic. And Natalie Portman does her, like, debut as a little girl. Yep. And they all... Who end up being in the first Mission Impossible? Wee oui, wee, oui. and fucking Gary Oldman in that. 
kill everyone everyone and he fucking had the pills he was popping pills and he'd he would fucking just be like all calm and he'd have this little pill box and he'd open it up as he's telling you know i got a lot and and then he'd fucking lose his shit and that guy was living on the edge like all the whole time and it's better to burn out than fade away so i just thought i'd throw a different that's one that's great there. dude Thanks, man. I haven't seen that in a long time. I need to watch that again. You know, I'd watch it again. There's an, I think there's an unedited or a director's cut version I'd recommend that might have a little bit extra scene or two. Just look cool. for that. If they I have. dig that. Um, once again, um, let's go through our three again, sir, before we call it a day. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. The dog. <laughs> we the dog, dog named again. Rick Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> and Corbin Dallas. With honorable mentions of the shark in Jaws and Dirk Diggler, Marky Mark, from Boogie Nights. So Jaws. Yes. Is is Jaws Jaws? Or well, is that... I think, they, I think the shark actually had a name. Did it? But I don't remember. Was it Corbin Dallas? By it was probably like Jonathan. <laughs> it was probably this Norman Stanfield motherfucker. Um, so my three were uh, Fel- Felis Brewer, Ferris Bueller. Oh, man. I got tongue-tied, man. Ferris Bueller. Abe Froman. Abe Froman, Sausage King of Chicago. And then who was my second? I don't even remember. Harry Potter. No, that was Megzies. <laughs> Shit, I don't remember. Uh, my last one was Norman Stansfield. That was the bad guy in The Professional, Gary Oldman. Look, honestly, pick any fucking Gary Oldman character. The Mr. Smith in fucking Lost in Space, he is so good in that. As weird, as fucked up as that movie was, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that good either. But him in that was so good. So good. Who was my third? What was my third choice? I think it was Tom. Kevin Kirk. Kevin Kirk. It was Tom Cruise from Vanilla Sky. <laughs> I oh, was, no, wait. It was the alien from District 9. No, it was the vanilla sky. Because you slept through half of it or because <laughs> you were frozen through half of it? Because I'm colorful. You're fucking... I'm so, a, so much trouble. Are we going to come to blows? No, I'm just not going to trust you when you say watch this movie anymore. Well, I have two strikes. Remember, I told you to watch one and I redacted it. My Bill Murray will remove one of my demerits, sir. I We will see. Uh, I will bet District you... District 9... And Vanilla Sky okay. are such huge okay. strikes, dude. Oh, bro, District 9, you just it thought it was wretched. Sucked. You just thought it sucked. I, it still does. You only thought it sucked because it really sucked. That's <laughs> the only reason you thought it sucked. I'm sorry. Would you listen to your last statement and how logical that was? Right. I, that's my point. It did suck. I, you only thought it sucked because it sucked. That's not, that's just no reason to hold that against any movie. Yes, it. I don't like you anymore. I love you, bro. Corbin Dallas Multipass. Hey, everybody. Cor- <laughs> Corbin Dallas Multipass. Everyone, please uh, listen to the rest of our discography. Do we have a, dis- a podcast over for you? Yes. Subscribe, Pod- download, rate, comment. Rate, comment. Go, please go on Apple and just put it. Click the star thing. What, regardless of what you, what you put, we don't need the reviews as much as the ratings. The ratings are easy. Just cl- one click. I don't need you to type words or spell things. Preferably towards the, at the five yellow full stars. Preferably. Preferably. But I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life. This is America. You're free to. Or Canada. Bo- or Venezuela. Yeah, it's wherever you are. If you're Venezuela, you know, we're plummeting rapidly. We need another <laughs> download to get us back in the top 70. <laughs> By the way, we're only ranked in Venezuela. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Well, thanks so much for listening to us, boys. Sir, just, we're, you and I are getting together in another week or geez. a little bit of time. We did a couple podcasts today, another f- over four hours. Love it. I, this is so much fun, man. I'm having such a great time. And we're just enjoying it. We're hoping that you're enjoying the ride with us because this is genuine. We've known each other once again 28 fucking years. This month, this month, 28 years, man. Right, yeah. That's fucking awesome. Craziness. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And, and birthday, uh, happy anniversary to us. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, let's Stuff. do it. Thanks so much for joining, guys. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.